Mathematics 4, Quarter 4, Week 8 Decimal Numbers Rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole numbers and to the nearest tenth. Compare each pair of decimals using symbols less than, greater than, or equal to. Here are the items. We have number 1 to 10. Let us now answer for number 1, greater than, 2, less than, 3, equal to, 4, less than, 5, greater than, number 6, equal to, 7, equal to, 8, less than, 9, greater than, and 10 is equal to. How do you know which of the two decimal numbers is bigger or smaller? Very good! You can compare decimal numbers by looking at the digits from left to right, starting with the whole number part, then the tens, hundreds, and so on. What rule have you applied to identify which decimal is bigger or smaller? The rule is to compare the whole numbers first. If they're the same, compare the digits in the decimal places from left to right. Arrange the decimals from smallest to largest. Here are the correct answers for number 1, 66 hundredths, 68 hundredths, 688 thousandths, 86 hundredths, 88 hundredths. For number 2, 1 and 232 thousandths, 1 and 323 thousandths. 2 and 33 hundredths, 3 and 22 hundredths, and 3 and 232 thousandths. How do you arrange the decimal numbers given in ascending or descending order? To arrange decimal numbers in order, compare the whole numbers first, then the decimal places if needed. In what aspect of your daily life you can apply rounding off decimals? How useful it is! Rounding decimals involves making a decimal simpler by shortening it to a given number of decimal places. Rounding decimals is a type of estimation used to make calculations easier. Suppose Alexa walked a distance of 12 and 45 hundredths meters. From their home to her school, how far did Alexa walk if you rounded 12 and 45 hundredths to whole number? Take a look at the illustration. The distance between 12 and 12 and 45 hundredths is 4 units. The distance between 12 and 45 hundredths to 13 is 6 units. Since 12 and 45 Hundreds is 4 units nearer to 12 rather than 13. The distance Alexa walked from their house to the school is approximately 12 meters. When rounding off a decimal number to the nearest whole number, you are trying to find out which whole number the given number is closest to.
the digit to the right of the rounding place is less than 5. Leave the rounding digit alone. 12 and 45 hundreds rounded to the nearest whole number is 12. 12. In order to round decimals to the nearest whole number, find the rounding place. Look at the digit immediately to the right of the rounding place. When the digit is 5 or greater, add 1 to the rounding digit. When it is less than 5, leave the rounding digit alone. Drop all the digits to the right of the rounded digit. Write the rounded number. How to round a number to nearest tenth? To round a number to the nearest tenth, look at the hundreds digit, the digit after the tenths digit. If it is less than 5, then round the number down by removing the decimal part of the number after the tenths. If it is greater than or equal to 5, round the number up by adding 1 on to the tenths digit and removing the rest of the decimal part of the number. Write the rounded number. When rounding a number to the nearest tenth, you are trying to find out which tenth of a number your number is closest to. Example 1. Round 1 and 61 hundreds to the nearest tenth. 6 is the rounding place. 1 is to the right of the rounding digit. It is less than 5. Leave the rounding digit the same. That's why it is rounded off as 1 and 6 tenths. Example 2. Round 78 and 67 hundredths to the nearest whole number. 8 is the rounding place. 6 is to the right of the rounding digit. It is greater than 5. Add 1 to the rounding digit. Then the answer is 79. Example 3. Round off the following to the nearest whole number and tenths. Here are the answers for number 1. For 2, and 85 hundreds, we have 3 and 2 and 9 tenths. 26 and 17 hundreds, 26 and 26 and 2 tenths. 3, 3 and 5 tenths. 4, 3 and 7 tenths. 7, 7 and 3 tenths. 37, 37 and 2 tenths. 10, 10 and 3 tenths. 56, 56 and 4 tenths. 64. 63 and 6 tenths, 91, 90, and 9 tenths. Match me. It is good for 20 minutes. Draw an arrow to match each number when it is round off to the nearest tenths. Here are the correct answers. Complete me. It is good for 30 minutes. Round the following to the nearest whole number. Here are the correct answers. Complete the boxes below with tens and round it off to the nearest whole number. 
for number 1 and 2. For numbers 3, 4, and 5. Here are the correct answers. For activity number 3, who am I? It is good for 30 minutes. Use the clues to find the correct answer from the 6 possibilities. 1. Hints. Less than a hole. If you round me to the nearest hole, I round up. I have two decimal places. I am 7 tenths when round off. Who am I? Number 2. I am larger than 8. To the nearest whole number, I stay the same. I have two decimal places. My 1s and 10s digits are both even. Who am I? Number 3. If you round me to the nearest whole number, I stay the same. If you round me to the nearest tens, I stay the same. My 1s and 10s digits are odd. Who am I? I am an even number between 10 and 20. I round up when you round me to the nearest whole number. When you round me to the nearest tens, I round up. Who am I? Here are the correct answers. Number 1, 65 hundreds. 2, 8 and 24 hundreds. 3, 15 and 32 hundreds. 4, 16 and 78 hundreds. Write what you have learned about the lesson. Write it in your reflection notes. Prepare your reflection journal. Reflect on your experience during the rounding off decimals to the nearest whole number and tenths. Where you can apply the knowledge you have about rounding off? Is this helpful in your daily lives? Yes, you can apply rounding off when estimating cost, calculating time, or simplifying measurements. Is this helpful? It's helpful in daily life for quick and easy calculations. For your formative assessment, what is 5 and 35 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenths? A. 5 B. 5 and 3 tenths C. 5 and 4 tenths D. 6 Number 2. What is 59 and 54 hundredths rounded to the nearest whole number? A. 59 B. 59 and 5 tenths C. 59 and 6 tenths D. 60 3. What number when rounded to the nearest whole number become 83? A. 82 and 4 tenths B. 82 and 54 hundredths C. 83 and 55 hundredths D. 83 and 54 hundredths Number 4 what is 5 and 84 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenths? A. 5 and 8 tenths B. 5 and 9 tenths C. 5 D. 6 Number 5. What number when rounded to the nearest tenths will become 45 and 8 tenths? A. 45 and 64 hundredths B. 45 and 73 hundredths C. 45 and 81 hundredths D. 45 and 85 hundredths 
Shane Walk 2 and 5300 meters in going to the church. If you round it to the nearest whole number, how far did Shane walk? A2, B3, C4, D5. 7. Alexa worked for 8 and 75 hundreds hours. A day. What is 8 and 75 hundreds to the nearest whole number? A8, B8 and 7 tenths, C8 and 8 tenths, D9. 8. What number, when rounded to the nearest whole number, becomes 75? Nine. What is sixty-eight and twenty-eight hundreds rounded to the nearest tens? Ten. What is two hundred forty-eight and forty-four hundreds rounded to the nearest whole number? Here are the correct answers. 1C, 2D, 3C, 4A, 5D, 6A, 7D, 8B, 9B, and 10 is A. Complete the table by rounding the numbers to the nearest whole number and tenths. Read and analyze the given problem. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Show your complete solution. What number is between 9 and 10 that when round off to the nearest tens is stay the same? The ones digit and tens digit is both odd number. What is the largest decimal number with two decimal places? which becomes 8 when rounded to the nearest whole number.